What's up, Plane Crash Survivors? Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Forest! That's right, guys. We are back with The Forest. Um, I've missed this game quite a bit. For those of you who don't know uh, much about The Forest, I'm going to talk about it as I go ahead and loot. Um, I went ahead and went through the plane crash and ate all the food and got all the medicine and everything. I do have to wash off because I do have some blood on me, but we'll worry about that later. Let's go ahead and open up some luggage and get some resources here to get started. Okay, so I can't believe people don't know about the forest, but just in case some people don't know about the forest, it's a freeform building survival game. Um, it's kind of on the realistic edge of the spectrum, but it gets a little crazier later. Um, you're going to be fighting uh, cannibals, and the enemies are going to be human, and they're going to be cannibals. Now, there's going to be some surprises. Oh, that is awesome. Oh my god, I just killed a rabbit by mistake. That is wonderful. They're actually kind of hard to get, and they're one of the first things you have to get in the game. Oh, that is freaking phenomenal. Anyway, as I was saying, the the enemies are going to be human, but it's going to get a little crazy later on. They get a little bit into the, I don't know if you call it supernatural, but um, a little bit into the unrealistic territory. But in the beginning, it's definitely going to be very real realistic. No zombies. Um, it's just going to be cannibals coming after me. Um, I play, I crashed on this plane uh, on this island with my son, Timmy, right? And uh, he got taken away by some guy in red, okay? Uh, yeah, pretty pretty nuts. Um, I am always up in the air about my second favorite survival game of all time. It's either this or it's Imperion. I got to be honest, I'm kind of leaning towards this, but I don't know. I go back and forth. Uh, for those of you wondering what my number one survival game of all time is, it's Seven Days to Die. But this is probably my second favorite. Like I said, depending on the day you ask me, sometimes it's going to be The Forest, sometimes it's going to be uh, Imperion, you know. Who knows, who knows. But uh, right now, as of today, I feel like this is the second best survival game ever made. It's actually not early access, which is something I don't usually do. I don't usually play non-early access games. But this game's just dope. This game's dope as hell. Uh, okay, so we're going to be living on the beach to, on the beach in this uh, season. I almost said today, then I almost said episode. Now, we are going to be staying on the beach in this season. It's going to be awesome. I've got some ideas. Um, usually my first day, I make a treehouse. And if you guys are new to this game, I strongly suggest making a treehouse for your first day. Uh, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be making a houseboat for my first base. Okay? Now, you need to make like some kind of... like. Um, some kind of shelter to be able to save. I might make a temporary shelter just to save. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the cannibal camp and I'm going to mark it. So up here, there is going to be a cannibal camp. It's going to be the hub of all operations in this game. I would never build I would never build too far away from it. Uh, as a matter of fact, what I'm building right now is probably about the farthest I'd ever build away from the camp. It's incredible. It's, it's, it's the hub. It's where you go to get your materials. It's incredibly important. I'm going to pick some flowers along the way, and I'm going to come up here. Now, the problem with this cannibal camp is it spawns cannibals. So that's a problem. I'm going to press B, and I'm going to bring up my book here, and we're going to be looking for a marker. Uh, now, bear with me. I haven't played this game in quite a few months, but we're going to be looking for a little marker. It's like a little marker stick. And what we do is we put it down, and then we can see it anywhere in the game and get back here a lot easier. There it is. Stick marker. All right, I'll just put it right here because that's kind of out of the way. And there we go. And what color do we want to use for this? Um, green? No. How about red? Yeah, Cannibal Camp Red. I like it. So there's going to be a couple things we're looking for over here. Number one thing we're looking for is dynamite. Number two thing we're looking for is rope. And I'm hoping because I'm here this early, stuff will not be spawning. There's the dynamite. You can only hold four. So don't bother trying to pick up more than that. You can't. There aren't more than that anyway, so... Um, also, in these little boxes are um, sodas, which is great. And there's a way to put the soda as a hotkey. I don't remember how to do it. I'm going to kind of see if I can... Yeah, there we go. It's number four, by the way. So now when I hit number four, I'll just automatically drink soda. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab a few more things while we're out here. You know, uh, there's one thing of rope. I need to get four things of rope. All right, there's a second thing of rope. Now, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, just because, you know, you don't want to be here for too long. Because if the cannibals show up, they could follow me around. Uh, don't worry, there's a lot of gory stuff around here. We'll look at it, like, later on in the in the series. But I just, I don't want to be messing around with cannibals right now. I don't have the good weapons. Um, I don't have any stamina. You have stamina and strength in this game. As you swing your, your, your items 
and you chop things down and you do things that would build up your stamina just like going to the gym uh your stamina will go up um i'm sorry your strength will go up and as you run around your stamina will go up so doing physical things swinging you know axes and stuff like that swinging weapons will raise your stamina and right here should be a there should be a thing closed in there there we go so i changed my clothes that doesn't really do anything um that's more for multiplayer if people like can see you also right here i think are yeah flares Flares are good because you can get the flare gun. So yeah, as you run around, your stamina will be better so you can run around longer. And as you swing things, use use physical exertion, your strength will get better. So you can do more stuff with strength. Um, really quickly, I will just show you in the book. Um, there's your to-do list. Find Timmy, set up a camp, find the missing plane uh, passengers. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to find any, but fair enough. Um, right here is my stats. Um, I am thirsty. My sanity is at 100%. Um, I don't usually worry about my sanity, uh, but whatever. Uh, my weight's 205 pounds. Your weight will go up and down depending on how you eat and exercise, strength, athleticism. That's stamina, athleticism. And then you've also got fullness, hydration, health, energy, armor, cold armor, stealth. There's a crafting guide. It's this game. I'm telling you guys, like, I, you know, I envy you. I envy you people watching this who have never like played the far forest because man, you're in for a treat. You really are. I wish I could wipe. Well, I was I was going to say, I wish I could wipe my mind of the memory of playing the far so I could play it for the first time again. But as a, as a YouTuber, I, I kind of, it, it helps to be knowledgeable. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I would like to wipe my mind, you know, as far as the gameplay goes. But um, it's just not something that would be good for my YouTube channel. But you guys that are playing this for the first time, and who, who here is playing this for the first, who here has seen this for the first time? And is you know maybe seen it before and you decided to get it or you've never even heard of it you know let me know in the comments I'm I'm really curious. Um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make our way down. We're gonna make our way down the coast and there's gonna be a little uh, sandbar over there and there's going to be a yacht. All right and that's gonna be our building location. The cool thing about getting those cans of soda is they're gonna replenish my thirst. The other cool thing about getting those cans of soda is they're really important. Um, especially if you put them on a hotkey, uh, because the thing is, if you get chased by cannibals early in the game and you really, you know, you probably don't want to deal with them that much, um, you could just chug the soda and it'll replenish your stamina. There's two stamina bars too. There's like, um, there's a, there's a stamina bar that goes up and down as you run. And then there's like a secondary stamina bar. I don't think that's called, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but the blue one is more like, um, your, it's kind of like your, your tiredness or your, you know, how tired you are or whatever. It's more of a, you have to sleep and eat to, to raise that one. The stamina bar, the, re the regular stamina bar, the one that lets you sprint, will go up just by not sprinting. But the other one, you know, won't. All right, so I think, oh, there's somebody out there. There's somebody out there on the boat. I think it's the red man. Where is he going? So is that the red man or not? I can't tell. I think there's supposed to be the red man on that boat. Like the red man's like their god or something. I don't really know. Um, I kind of have some ideas. I think people like said something about him, but I don't want to talk about it because it could be spoilers. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give us a place to save. And in order to have a place to save, I'm going to make a temporary shelter. Now, it, you, it, you could sleep through the night in the temporary shelter, but if you do, it gets destroyed. But if you save in it, it stays there. So you'd be good to go. I'll just build it right there. And I don't know how many leaves we have. We probably don't have a lot. So I'm going to chop... Oh, blueberries. Hold on. Yeah, blueberries. Blueberries are are, awesome, are good for two reasons. First of all, they're going to they're gonna help your thirst and your... Uh, they're going to help your thirst and your hunger. But you're also going to get seeds from them so you can plant more. All right, so I need some sticks. So let's go ahead and chop up some sticks. Let's finish this temporary shelter. So there's a temporary shelter. Hold down C. And I've got a few saves here. This is from my big world last season. And I think one of these other ones might be from that big world as well. I think this is the multiplayer world. It looks like these two are the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save. Yeah, these two are the same. You can see day 106. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save in the last. I don't want to delete this world. I might actually show it to you guys. Uh, if, th if this Let's Play does well and I end up doing a bunch of episodes, maybe one episode I'll show you that. All right. Override. There you go. And now we are saved. Okay, so I think the next thing we want to make is a... Alright, here... Oh, there's a cannibal right there. 
That might not have been the red man on there. That might have been an actual cannibal. We're going to kind of watch, stay away from him. Now, there's there's a couple things I want to make here. I want to make a drying rack, and I want to make a water a water uh, catch. But I think I want to make them on the boat. So let's go ahead and make the boat first. The hell with it. I want to stay on the boat, like, during the night. I think that'd be pretty dope. I've never done it before. I've made the boat before, but I've never, like, like lived on it. The houseboat. So I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, put this down. And that's what we needed the four rope for. And now all we need is 40 logs. Now you might be thinking, Cage, 40 logs is a lot. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to show you how to get 40 logs. The way you're going to start by getting 40 logs... Actually, you know what? Let's go Let's go wash ourselves off. If you don't wash yourself off and you're bloody, you will uh, catch an infection. Uh, it's not that hard to get rid of. You just need aloe vera. But the thing is, I don't have any aloe vera. There we go. Nice and clean. All right, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to look for an area with a lot of sticks. Okay, I'm going to grab that. All right, there's a pretty good amount of sticks around here. So once you find a place with a lot of sticks, you're going to make one of the best things in any survival game ever. Um, you're going to look for storage, and you're going to make log sleds. If you hold down control, you could put down the log sled without losing the ghost image. And I'm just going to go ahead and put down three of them. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and... Uh, it's going to take a good amount of sticks, but... Trust me, it's going to be worth it. These log slides are going to be with you for the entire game. They're going to be your MVP. Uh, you're just you're going to love them. Trust me. So make yourself a couple, maybe three log slides to start off. Should have ate those blueberries before I broke down the bush. Oh, there's some blueberries. Nope, don't. Damn it. <laughs> I keep breaking blueberry bushes. All right, we are starting to lose the daylight here, so I'm only going to make one of these. And we got to get we got to get some work done here. So what you're going to do is once you've got, you know, at least one log slide done, maybe more if you have time... Uh, you take your dynamite and you find a group of trees and then you press L to light it and then you throw it right in the middle of the trees. You can attach it to the trees, but I tend to get more more trees to go down by doing it like that. And there you go. Now you grab your log sled and you simply fill it up. Uh, trees, I think trees can hurt you. I haven't been hurt by a tree in quite a long time. But I do think trees can hurt you, so be careful about that. And um, also, tr and you got to be really careful about this. Save often, because if a tree hits one of your buildings, it will destroy it. And, you know, you might think, well, whatever, I could just rebuild it, right? And Yeah, you can, but the problem is a lot of the buildings and the way you build them, you have to build them while they're ghost images to get them to fit, fit in right with each other. And, like, let's say you make two items and they fit in fine in ghost image form. Once you've built them completely... Uh, and they get destroyed, you can't rebuild them in the same spot. It'll really just muck up your day. Just awful. So, alright. So here we go. And let's just dump 40 logs in here. This thing holds, what, like 11? Or, I think it holds 11. And the cool thing is, um, actually, I'm not sure what I can do with the houseboat, to be honest. I don't remember. I don't know if I can save on it or sleep on it. I, I totally forget. Like, you might be able to save on it. I don't remember. But um, what I could do is I could always maybe build a bed on it or something. Um, we're really, really pushing it. Uh, getting close to darkness here, though. I'm getting a little nervous about that. So let's get this thing built. Okay, come on. I've never tried to build a houseboat in the beginning of the game. And, like, I had to go to the I had to go to the cannibal camp. You might be thinking, well, you wasted time going to the cannibal camp. Uh, the dynamite was not a waste of time. And I had to go there for the rope as well. And you need, you need the rope for the houseboat. Like I said, if you guys are starting off and, you, you know, you're only playing the game for the first time and you're not feeling, you know, totally confident about it, by all means, just make yourself a treehouse. It's so much easier. But I've done that, like, I think every game I've ever played. So I want to do something a little different. Come on. How many more? Oh, God, we still need a good amount more. All right. Normally I would cut the video here, but this is... This is pretty intense for me. I don't know. Hope it is for you guys, too. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Like, it's going to get dark. And once it gets dark, man, these sons of bitches are going to come out. Like, I don't want to I don't want to deal with them. I really don't. I also don't want to waste another thing of dynamite this close to nighttime. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I don't have any rope. I don't have any sticks, either. I was going to make a different axe to cut down the trees. Now, you know what? Dynamite's cheap. Just make the... Just throw the di damn dynamite. Another thing is, guys, don't break out the stumps. Because if, if you leave the stumps, then the trees will grow back. I think it's like a 10% chance every time you sleep through the night that a tree will grow back. 
So don't do yourself a favor. Do not break out the stumps unless they're in the way of one of your builds. Might actually lose some of these because they might stay out here during the night. Um, I think logs don't really go away, though. I think they'll still be here tomorrow morning. So I, I probably won't lose any, but I try not to leave logs on during, logs on the ground during the night. Also, really quickly, if it gets dark, I don't make dark videos because what's the point of making a video if you guys can't see it? Um, so if when I do when it does get dark, I'm gonna go to color grading and go to M131, and that will help you guys um, see a little bit better during the dark. Most of the time, I'll just be sleeping through the night, um, or I'll have lights in the area. But in the beginning of the game, you know, this is gonna be an issue. That was actually enough. It is finished. Beautiful. See, I can't save here anything. So we need a place to save and sleep through the night. Let's see. If, let's see how bad. I don't think I can make a bed. Like, easily. Yeah, the bed takes, uh, takes four, um, rabbit, rabbit fur. So, I don't think there's any real way for me to sleep through the night on here. So, we're not gonna be able to spend the first night here. I think, I think, uh, tomorrow we have to hunt down rabbits and get a bed on this thing. ASAP. But I'm not gonna be able to stay on here the first night because there's no way I'm gonna get enough rabbits. Okay, well, fair enough. Let's uh, let's come up here, and then we're going to make a more permanent place uh, to save. Which will be the hunting shelter. Now, the hunting shelter will stay there as I sleep through the night. I can always sleep through the temporary shelter. I just, I don't want to lose it, you know. Um, although, I could always make another one. Uh, I got a lot of logs on the ground, though. I can make this thing. Let's find those logs and make this thing. I know this is dark. All right, now this is going to be pitch black for you guys, but I'm going to... Oh, I can't actually sleep. It's not late enough yet. Okay, so that's another thing in this game. You see that little, like, icon with the with the moon on it, with the with the gray part that's getting smaller, like the pie? Uh, once that gets all the way together, I'll be able to sleep through the night. Um, so not much I can do about that right now. We just have to wait. Okay, guys, I can sleep. But before I sleep, I'm going to save. Because cannibals can, like, walk past you and stuff and cause all kinds of trouble, wake you up in the middle of the night and then attack you. It doesn't always happen, obviously, as you just saw, but it can happen. All right, so I think at this point we need to look at food. Um, we do have a rabbit. Uh, I really didn't want to have... You know what? I can make a drying rack on that. Let's make a drying rack on this thing. Um, I know I'm going to want to make a drying rack on this thing. There's no doubt about that. Um, I just got to see where I'm going to make it. I'd also, I'd like to be able to get on the top, get on the roof of it, but I can always make... You know what? Let's just make a drying rack over here for now. Because I'm not, uh, what I want to do is I want to build a certain way that's going to allow me to get on the roof and then I might be able to build on the roof of that thing, which would be awesome. Uh, you don't want drying racks out in the open though, because the enemy will attack it. Uh, they'll like actually like go for it. Like it's like a, a beacon for them to attack. So I could put a drying rack out here. It's not going to be that good for very long though, but it'll be good enough for now. Hunger is an issue. I probably have some uh, candy bars and I definitely have some soda. So we're not in dire straits just yet. Normally I would just start worrying about food right now, but I really want to get those rabbits because I want to be able to I want to be able to save on the boat before tomorrow night. Alright, so you put that on the drying rack, it's great. There is spoilage in this game, but once once you put something on the drying rack, if memory serves me correctly, it doesn't spoil at all. I hope I got that right. Alright, so we're gonna do that and we'll drink some of this. Okay, so there's a couple different ways you can get rabbits. Um, I kind of like getting rabbits with the bow, although I could also use, I could also use the slingshot. A lot of people tell me to use the slingshot. I'm more a fan of the bow, although I can't really make arrows right now, so maybe we'll make the slingshot. Uh, I gotta figure out how to make it, though. I don't really see it right. Oh, there it is. Oh, you need duct tape. Oh, I have duct tape. Okay. So we need sticks. Yeah, let's make the slingshot. And then we gotta gather some ammo for the slingshot. The nice thing about the slingshot is it's got like an AoE attack that even if you don't really hit what you're aiming at, it still knocks it out. It's going to be tough, guys. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be tough to get the rabbit fur. But I want it right there. That's a slingshot ammo. So there, there, and there. And we got a slingshot. I'll put that as number two. There we go. Okay. Number two. All right. Let's get some more ammo for this thing. I do know where there is uh, a spot to get rabbits. And... In order to make, in order to make uh, water collectors, you need uh, turtle shells, and there's turtles all over this beach, all over the beach. So I think we're looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna show you where to get the rabbits. You know, I was gonna cut the video. I was like, I'm gonna show you where to get the rabbits, and I cut the video. How are you gonna know where the rabbits are? Okay, there's where I just came from, and the rabbits are gonna be up and over this hill, 
and th a little bit through the woods. Um, now you gotta be careful because there's cannibals over here a lot of times. Uh, I think they're giving me that like early game, like, you know, no cannibal thing where I don't have to really deal with them. There's also a place over here I can get arrows. I probably should have made the bow. I could still make the bow. How much rope does it take them? Oh, there we go. Hold on. No, that was way over his head. Got him. I'm not very good with this thing. And I can only run for like three seconds. <laughs> so this is not going to be easy. This is I'm much better with the bow, by the way. I might actually go for the go for the arrows and then make the bow. Um, I don't have the rope, but you can turn cloth into rope. And I just might do that. Let me see. There, there's like a campsite over here where there's like like unbelievably good arrows, like the best arrows in the game. And if I can find that, then I'll make the bow and I'll, you know, I'll hunt a little bit with this and I'll hunt a little bit with the bow. Like I said, I'm much better with the bow. I should also make a spear. Because if I see a deer, I want to I wanna kill the deer. And I'm uh, good at killing deer with the spear. And it rhymes. Okay, so five cloth, I guess, uh, makes a rope. And then with the rope, and let's see, small bag, rabbit, crafted axe, crafted bow, rope, cloth, and sticks. Beautiful. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. And we will put that as number two. And then we'll put the slingshot as number three. Okay. And by the way, this is the camp right here. I just came down, like, from over there. Uh, I'm also putting up, you know, uh, stick markers. So, as you watch this series, you'll you'll know where everything is. Duct tape, money, are these the arrows? Yep. And those are the best arrows in the game. Now, I can only hold so many, and I think they respawn. Oh, that's a pot. I need a pot, too. I need a pot. And I think these things respawn. So, that's why I like coming out here. I'm just going to carry as many as I can. And uh, we should, with with the bow, I'll get two rabbits. I'm much better with the bow. Much better. What is this? Oh, candy bars. It's very nice. Uh, what do I got? Like uh, 30 arrows. I think that's all the arrows I can hold. Maybe I can hold 50. Nope, I can only hold 30. Hey, deer. All right, all right hold on. Crap, I didn't put the spear on a hotkey. Well, I can't because I already have everything else on a hotkey. All right, let's see if we can get this deer. I can get deers usually pretty easily. You just got to point point at them. And then throw. Oh, that was a headshot. See that? That was a mother effing headshot. I'm a freaking beast. Where's my spear? I don't know where the spear went. Do you get it back when you kill the animal? I don't remember. There we go. Now, the, the, uh, did I get the spear? No, I didn't get the spear back. All right, I'm not going to worry about it because I'm kind of in a hurry. Um, but yeah, I don't know where that spear went. Uh, the cool thing about um, deer is you get four big pieces of meat. Um, I'm going to need the... I'm going to need the deer skin for something. I don't remember what. And let me just double check and make sure the bed is rabbit. I thought the bed was deer. No, the, the bed's rabbit. All right, sounds good to me. All right, let's go to the real rabbit hunting grounds. This is even the real rabbit hunting grounds. Okay, so right down there... Across that little um, peninsula is the beach that I'm living at. So uh, you can see that tree from the beach and then you just come right down here. And this is my rabbit hunting grounds. I'm just going to use the bow. Uh, I kind of want to mess around with the slingshot a little bit more. But to be perfectly honest with you, we got to get going, man. I, I got to make that bed and I want to get it done. And I want to get it done yesterday. Um, I kind of wanted to make the first day. I forgot it took like four rabbit fur. So yeah, this is the, this is the best place I found for rabbits. Um, you can usually get some on the way here too, you know, but I'm just going to kind of look around here. Oh, there's one. Over his head. That got him. Oh, cannibals. Freaking cannibals. I might have to fight these guys, man. Like, they don't look like they're activated yet. So if I could not activate them, that would be great. I've got three rabbit fur. Oh, uh, there's a lizard. Lizard's pretty good for armor. I prefer not to f screw it. Okay, here we go. Come on. Stop moving. Nice. It looked like it went over him, but now I got him. All right, cool. I told you I'm better with the bow. <laughs> Let's get back and make a bed, man. Leave those guys alone. 
shit. <laughs> they look—they kind of look like the people from I Am Legend, don't they? Ugh, creepy. Ah, damn it. I got cannibals chasing me. The good news is I got the bow and the good arrows. If worse comes to worse, I can handle them. I was just hoping not to have to deal with it. Hopefully they won't chase me all the way back to base. Remember that tree I told you about in the peninsula? That's it right there. So like I told you, that, that, that hunting ground for the rabbits. You probably don't have to go that far. There's probably rabbits in other places. I just don't like hunting rabbits. I don't like hunting rabbits in the woods. Because it's really hard to get them in the woods. Alright, so I think we're going to need a rope for this. Uh, so let's go. I don't normally like to turn this into rope. But I'm kind of up against it at this point. I'd like to get a bet on this thing. Like right now. So that's what I'm going to do. And it doesn't look like the cannibals chase me down. So that's good. And we, uh, I'm going to hold off on putting stuff on that drying rack for now. Because I'm hoping I can make one on here. Alright, so we're going to make a bed here. There we go. And can we turn it the other way? Uh, yes we can. But you can't turn it back. It's frustrating. You got to kind of get it right the first time. Um, actually, that doesn't even look straight. Oh, hold on, sorry. Okay. Alright, that looks pretty good. Good. Or should we put it over here? Actually, I kind of like it better here. It leaves room for other building. Okay. Alright, there we go. Go get some sticks, build this thing up. That's awesome. That's awesome. Next thing I want to do is get a drying rack on that thing. If I can get a drying rack on that thing, that'd be beautiful. I don't know if you can put a... Actually, we should probably save. I don't know if you can put a water catch on there. But, or a rain catch. I forget what it's called. It's like a water gathering thingy. We'll make that first thing next episode for sure. Actually, I'll probably make the drying rack next episode too. Alright, so we need, what, 17? You can make stick holders. Uh, I don't remember what you need for the stick holders, though. It might be rabbit fur, or... I want to say the rabbit or deer fur. I can't really remember. We'll look that up next episode, too. Alright, guys. And there we go. We can now save and sleep out on the ocean. So, I don't remember how this thing works. Uh, do I have to, like, push it off, or... I don't remember. I think, um, I don't remember how to get it out of here. Okay, so that goes left and right. What goes forward? Oh, that's right. Left mouse button goes forward. I was pressing W to go forward. There we go. Now, will they come out here to get me? I don't freaking know. <laughs> All I know is I've got a boat and we're going to call this one. Guys, if you want to see more of this uh, series, make sure you uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.